Hello and welcome to ExcelDashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at ExcelDashboardTemplates.com so you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. Learn everything about Excel. All right, today I had a user send in a question and said, I want to have some time on my spreadsheet listed as military time. How do I do that? Well, it's a simple formatting change, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about how dates and times work in Excel and I thought this might help. So you can see up here above I have a number, I have standard time, and I have military time, and these are all the same values within Excel. So what Excel does for a number is it does a decimal. So 0.5625 is the same as 1.30 p.m., which is the same as 1,330 hours. So these two on the right are just different formats of the number. Let's take a little bit closer look and let's do um, 1, 1 of 1980 uh, at 1.30 p.m. If I hit enter um, in that format that we've gotten here, what it's showing is, and you can even see in the formula bar, it's showing 1, 1 of 1980. Uh, and it's saying 1.30 p.m. So up in our formula bar, it's using standard time. Down below, it's showing military time. But in essence, if you go up and you change your number format from custom to general, you'll see it's just a um, real number here. So it's 29,221 days, 0.5625. So the 0.5625 is the value for the time of day. It's 24 hours broken up. Um, across uh, uh, the number one, uh, just one, one decimal place in value. And then the 29,221, that represents the number of days from one January 1st of 1900, so 1900. There's been 29,221 days since that since uh, January 1st of 1900 to January 1st of 1980. So uh, it's all just number format. So if I come up here on my number format, I can change this to time, and that says 1.30 p.m. You can even see it shows in Excel 2013 what it is going to look like. Uh, and, if, and you can see it says it's January 0 of 1900 because there's no date in there. Um, but if I go more number formats, what you can see here is I can go to time, and then under time I have all these different formatting choices. Now, um, so 1,330 hours and 55 seconds, you know, that's showing you how the hours um, the minutes and the seconds work in military time, and it shows you a sample of our data up above. Now, um, you can also do standard time. So all you need to do to do military time is go into uh, your cell values, go up to the time, do custom or more number formats, go into the time section, and choose the value you want. Now, what I'm hoping somebody can tell me in the comments below is what is 373055? So I'm not sure what that value is. Uh, same thing here with 3055. I'm guessing that is min, uh, minutes and seconds. This here, though, it's something with hours, 30 minutes and so many seconds. Uh, but I don't know what the 37 is. I'm guessing maybe it's something with UTC. I don't know. Put that in my comments below. Love to hear from you. Let me know. And uh, thanks for the great question in my blog. And hopefully you've learned a little bit more about numbers and time and how they work in Excel. Once again, uh, consider subscribing to my video channel at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Also, uh, head on over to the blog and learn other great posts uh, so that you can create some amazing dashboards for your company. Thank you.